Oh, look at that save. Hello world, welcome back to the Razor RC. And we are here with the Traxxas Sledge. First run on this brand new 1.8 scale 6S. They call it a monster truck, a truggy, I don't really know. But uh, yeah, I just picked this thing up. Retails for 800 bucks, a lot of money. Uh, some people think this is the next best thing. Some people think it's a copy of a Creighton 6S. But what I'm interested in is how it actually drives, how it performs. So I got the orange and black one, which actually looks pretty, pretty cool. And uh, it's Friday, so we're gonna get high today. Cause we ain't got stuff to do. All right. Oh no, no. There, saved it. Um, Sledgehammer tires. Seems to be coming on all their vehicles nowadays. Alright, suspension feels pretty good. Soft ish. So I just set endpoints, uh, set my, you know, calibrated my ESC. I did tighten the service saver one turn. Felt pretty, felt like super loose to me. And uh, we are running this on 6S, of course. This big of a vehicle, not really a reason to do for us, I don't think. All right, definitely, especially on the soft side. Steering feels pretty good. No, yeah, server saver gives a little bit, but not bad. Nice turning, completely stock fluids, shocks, stiff, everything. Um, truck out of the box, seemed like it was put together pretty well. I saw Earl Moorhead had problems with the tires glued, or not being fully glued, the mesh or something, I don't know. Mine seems fine, kind of checked it out. Uh, running 6S hard case battery. So I got two rules when it comes to lipos. I only run hard case, and I don't run Traxxas batteries. Um, it's really hard to find a hard case battery that will fit in this. I do have one. It's a SMC Racing 4000 milliamp hour battery. I might have to break my rule and get some soft packs. I don't know, but um, we're all just run forest packs. So anyways, back to the truck. Uh, drives good. Drives a little different than a Creighton, softer. Crane feels like it's got stiff. Oh my, what the hell happened there? I guess, I guess that's not a ramp. <laughs> what? Is there, did they pour concrete on the side of that thing? Okay, apparently we got dogs not on a leash. Not cool. <laughs> That's my, my shaking my head about people not having their dogs on a leash at the park. Especially on my RC cars. <laughs> do what you want to do at home, but it's not a dog park. Alrighty, anyways, uh, back to the truck. Single backflip. Power doesn't seem absurd. I gotta say, uh, I've been driving my rival MT8 for a while. On 6S, that thing is a monster. This thing on 6S, I mean, it's adequate. It's not slow, but. I could double. Maybe it's a diff oil, I don't know. It doesn't have that instantaneous power for sure. Maybe it's the ESC, you know, Traxxas ESCs are not known for being super fast. Um, I 
but uh, okay. I mean, I would say a Spectrum 6S system is probably the worst or slowest um, for for the size. I mean, it's possible like a Kaiju system is actually slower. I mean, it is smaller, weaker ESC, but um, for this type of vehicle, this heavy and big of a vehicle. Sorry, my hands are a little sweaty here. It's uh, it's okay. I mean, it's probably oh, should have had that one. First crash. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's just, it's just okay. It's not bad. It's not amazing. I mean. I've said this many times, the Corrali uh, Toro X 6S system, insane power. Like absolutely, it's like 30% more power than this. It's not even just like slightly faster, it's like way faster. Um, spectrum systems I think are not that fast. To me they're probably the slowest. The Traxxas ones, you know, between the E-Revo and this. Is somewhere in the middle. A little touchy. They're uh, probably what people expect. I mean, it's a good all-around brake level. Definitely not an issue, but uh, but uh, get a little more out of the power system here. Trigger's pretty linear though. I mean, that's one thing Traxxas does do right. The, the controller's actually controls the car correctly. Not all, not all RTRs actually try cars correctly. Alrighty, well that was fun. Let's try another spot. You guys want to see it sense, right? Well, me too. Perfect. It's actually really hard to land that backside because the uh, there's really only like maybe two feet of space. Like that, a little short. But we got a backflip in at least. Bent. A little short. They shorted a little bit. Chassis looks pretty good to me. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Looks quite straight. Doesn't look like anything's broken. I don't know. Is this the toughest RC car out of the box? That was what Trax was aiming for. I'm not sure. You know, go like. This thing is loud. Hmm. Maybe the mesh. I don't know. Not easy to say. Oh, look at that save. This is why you don't want a front bumper. Front bumper, you can't do stuff like that. You can't be basically doing a full endo, uh, Mission Impossible style. Whatever the, the first Mission Impossible, I think. Uh, save it like that. Whereas you can with a proper shruggy. Hmm. Fun though. Oh, I'm impressed with the truck. <laughs> I 
Ooh, ooh, it's still up. I'm not sure the Revo would have survived that. But, uh, I think I'm good. Seems okay, no. <laughs> that was a little rough. Um, that seems, seems okay. That was a, uh, I call it a halfway bad landing. Not terrible, but would would break some cars, I think. Alrighty. All right, let's just check temps real quick. Motor in the front. 78, what? 102, 99. 104, okay. I think it's time to send it, right? What do you think? Cool. Liking it. Whoa. Turn down the brakes a little bit. Uh, mine are at 100%. Maybe 80. Maybe 80. I think that's what I usually run on my tracks. Um, I think that would be. That would be a little better, I think. Loud though. The motor's cool. What's your say? I gotta say, I'm impressed. With, <laughs> I'm impressed with the sledge. Handling is actually quite good. I mean, the traction is pretty good today because it's, it's a little damp. The dirt is actually really good. Uh, these tires hook up really well. Um, steering is totally fine with. You know, I did that one turn on the servo saver to tighten it a bit and uh, steers well uh, with the tires, makes it handle really well. Uh, durability is fine. Uh, I, I haven't completely stacked it, but you know, some crashes that are uh, not up to my best performance. But yeah, durability is great. Power is uh, mediocre. I mean, not mediocre, it's okay. It's I would call it average. Um, I mean, it is a heavy truck, so maybe this power system in a different vehicle would be more powerful, but uh, on this vehicle, it's like, okay, you know, their their cars are ridiculous, like the Rival MT8, the Kaiju on 6S is insane, uh, all the Team Corrali cars insane on 6S. This car feels fine, you know, uh, faster than, probably faster than the Armas in my opinion, but who knows, I don't really know. Uh, I would have to run this back to back with a Creighton with a stock system. But uh, yeah, I, I like the truck. I do think the body thingy is fantastic. Um, that is a really nice design. I think the battery tray is the zero. Uh, it does not fit any normal, like, <laughs> pretty much any normal, like, hard case battery. I have a couple that almost fit. So that, that's probably my biggest complaint about this vehicle. The battery tray is stupid. Sorry, sorry Traxxas, but yeah. Making a car that only works with uh, your particular brand of battery is kind of dumb. I know there are other soft packs that fit, but um, you know, with my armor and every other vehicle, I can fit any battery I want. So that is a downside. Um, suspension feels good. You know, slightly on the soft side, but not bad, it's close. Uh, stable, easy to drive, yeah. So anyways, I think uh, Traxxas has got good product here and definitely something to consider except for the price 800 bucks i mean is this really worth 200 bucks 230 more than an arma cream v5 pretty questionable i do like the fact it's got c hubs and not pivot balls though so that is a positive um but yeah seems like a good truck overall so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like share subscribe buttons look for more videos soon and thanks for watching